Stereo Ansmith here, and um, we're going to be replacing some capacitors. Well, I'll show you one. So this is going to be a sort of a combined um, sort of tutorial. So I'm going to be taking apart a Techniques SP10 MK2, and then we'll get to the circuit board. And I'll show you how to get to the circuit boards of those, and then we'll go over uh, just replacing like one one cap and then you know then it's just <laughs> sort of attrition after that it's sort of just like work through the process and replace all the caps and uh, but at least I have I mean I have them all I've already done the work of going through and getting the right values that I need um, so now it's just a question of uh, doing the doing the labor doing the work um, so let's go ahead and get started. So here's my Techniques SP10. Normally there are screws here that hold down the platter. I've already taken those off for the sake of time. Um, if you lose those, those are really hard to, um, to replace because the person, uh, sorry, let me fix my mic. The person that sent me this particular one, um, I thought I'd lost them and um, he actually taped them to like the bubble wrap um, and he, he used like duct tape so I couldn't really see the baggie because the duct tape was like covering up uh, the baggie but luckily I saved all the packing material and saved the boxes because I knew I was going to have to ship it back so uh, luckily I was able to find it but uh but yeah, they're they're pretty expensive little screws to replace. So you would think that you would get to uh, this by the top. Um, the S the as far as the Techniques SP10 MK2, this just holds on like the brake. So to get to the brake part, that this is what you do. Um, here is where you put uh, just like oil. Usually these things only need a couple of drops of oil um, like about every year or so. I've already done that, so that's been already been addressed. So what we're going to do is take apart um, the back. Now normally on this, um, there are some screws. And actually, let me get... Uh, I did have a uh, box to sit on, but I guess this will do for now. Normally, like you have a lot of screws that hold this on. Um, but this particular one, this particular turntable, belonged to a radio station that I guess was serviced a lot, and so there's no like real um, like stuff. So I'm just gonna take. It just has four corners. Like they've taken off all the screws. Like there's no replacement um, screws whatsoever. So. What I've had to do is just put a couple of washers on because these four screws are on, but these four screws don't hold anything. So I'm actually gonna leave the ones that I don't need. So I put a washer on one side and this one, this one actually is like it's part of the body. And that's the only two that are really holding it on. And I'll show you why. See, the, ow, that, I'm not holding on anything. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this. Now the cable runs through, and I'm going to move the camera, so please don't get sick. The, um, the cable runs through this little part here, and so I'm just going to snake it through and put all these pieces aside okay so you don't really have to mess with this this also from what i understand um is different um that that was added these are um i guess sort of like controls that um the radio station made for start and stop um so i'm not going to be hooking those up because this is just going to be a regular like hi-fi turntable so let's look at the board right quick and let's look at let's this kind of looks a little daunting but it's really not once you actually uh take a look at it so what we have on the mk2 is there are 
four boards okay so here is one board this is one of the the main boards here um this is another board here this is another board over here and they all plug into this board so as you can see there's these little it's just like a um like quick connect just like a you know computer connection kind of thing where they go in um so you would think that you could just be able to pull them out well they do actually have screws so you have to take the screws off before you take them off so that's like the easiest uh one i think this one is the easiest one to kind of show you so i'm going to take off this screw here and it's rocking back and forth because it is sitting on the the spindle the spindle like piece the the little the sitting down i usually like when i had this before i had a box and i set it on top of the box so it set a little more flush but um for this i'll just show you this so this just kind of like lifts up now this part right here is kind of holding it down and holding it in place but you can see it kind of lifted up now to take it out what i did is i just grabbed the two corners or they grabbed the and just kind of wiggled it back and forth just kind of pulling and then bam it comes right out so there's your board um and just be careful with this just to hold it by its sides and also try not to touch the terminals this right here it's kind of got a beveled edge um but usually i try not to touch them because they could be connected to um you know some of the transistors or or chips on the inside so but this one has like this cap this cap this cap this one this one this one this one so we have a total of one two three four five six seven caps on this board to fix now the easiest way to deal with this is to take this out and put this into my panavice which is what i'm gonna do however i'm just gonna put it aside for right now just to kind of show you the sp10 and how to take the rest of it apart the this one comes out the same way right the sideboard comes out the same way there's two screws uh there's like one here and the other thing is is like these have like these um um whatever plugs these kind of molex looking plugs they have two little arms on the side and all you do is just pull them away and you can kind of uh, wiggle this out now if you need help with a little screwdriver which is what i usually use to kind of push and you can see here where it's starting to separate and i can kind of wiggle and just turn my screwdriver and kind of lift that away okay uh, and just kind of push 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 so but i usually don't do that until i'm like uh kind of ready but you can go ahead and do that and just get it all off just try not to bend the pins and then that you also have a small one over here on this side with the same sort of thing it's a little bit easier as it's smaller so you can kind of better get your hands on it these arms try not to bend them too much because actually um, they can wind up breaking kind of brittle plastic and you can see here they're nice and wrapped uh, on the you know the all the wires so you can just kind of hang them loose um, the last part is uh and then this one over here this last one same sort of thing um just kind of pull away the arm and then just pull it out so and they're all marked you can see this one has two different ones and you could think that you could plug it over here but if you look at the plug it has one by itself and then a space and then like three kind of next to each other um and so you know that that's the same thing on the on the pins you have one kind of um by itself a space and then a bunch connected to each other so i don't know why they have that it looks like this one looks like a transformer or like a inductor and then like this looks like a cap 
and this looks like a cap, but the, these other two are not connected. So I don't know uh, why we need all that. But anyway, once you get these two out, then you can, you know, and, and unplug all of the cables, then you can plug, unplug this one. You can just take out these two screws and these two screws and um, this board will lift out. Um, and then it is also connected underneath um, with this cable here. So as you pull it out, you see you've got a little bit of play, um, but it is connected. So it's a lot easier to get this off like once you kind of lift the board out. Um, but yeah, just lift very carefully once you get it out and then you can, because that's how I'm going to have to get to uh, this particular cap. These I'm leaving because they're film caps, they'll last a long time. But this electrolytic, I'm going to have to uh, replace. That's the only cap uh, on this board. So, and then the last thing I want to show you is this board is actually probably the, the little most difficult. And you may think, wow, well, you have to disconnect these little, you know, things. Why is this one more difficult? Well, this one actually has a lot of transistors for the motor. So this, this is actually the motor drive. Um, so motor drive actually takes some amplification to, you know, drive the, the voltages of the, uh, of the motor. So these, um, are the, you know, uh, heat sink for those transistors. And so there's a plate down here with two screws. Now, essentially you can take it off. Um, I mean, it has these two screws here. There's two of these like, um, and they're shinier screws. Most of the screws that are the circuit board screws are black. That's what's holding on the circuit board. Um, but these two are different. They're, they're shinier. They look like, you know, brass uh, screws. Those are the ones um, connected to the heat sink. You can't take those out because basically the transistors are, you know, bolted uh, or soldered to the board and then they are bolted to this heat sink. So the easiest way to get it out is to actually take this plate off and once we take uh um, we can it, it makes it just so much easier to get to if we take that plate off and i gotta find my flathead um just keep track of your screws when you take them off and where they go so that you know like where they're gonna go afterwards so you're not just going, oh, I have all these screws, but where do they go? It's usually they're different threads, they're different lengths, they're different sizes. These are easy because they're just two flatheads, but this just lifts off. And like I said, this is extra wiring for this um, thing that we're not using. But you see here, there's two screws um, for the heat sink. So if you take these two screws off, um, then you can leave these two screws in actually. And where the board connects is this screw here. Now, whoever had this turntable before left this screw out. So, but essentially once you get those two off and you get that one off, you can then do the same thing I did with this board of just like kind of wiggling it and pulling it out. This right here is the spindle. Um, Yes, it unscrews, but yes, you, you need like some big amount of torque, like one of those rope things with the thing. I don't suggest taking it off unless you're actually going to like replace the bearing or something like that. Or if you want to uh, check the bearing because they have to be put back on. So unless you know your bearing is bad or you really, you know, um, I mean, if you're really curious, but it's a lot of work to try to get this off. So don't try to just put a vice grip on it and just take it off, okay? Um, these require like usually a special tool and a lot of like, you know, um, make like breaker bar, one of those, kind of like a like an oil wrench where it's like a, a piece of cloth that goes around it, tightens it, and then you, you, and then you, uh, then you take it off that way. But you usually get, you know, you, you can, a lot of leverage uh, to get it off because it's, that's put on very, very tight. And I think it's even um, sealed. I don't know if you have to have any sealing or not, but I'm not gonna mess with it uh, unless you, like I said, unless you really know what you're doing. Um, 
I would just, you know, just leave it alone. Um, and if you think your bearing is bad, then it probably is. Um, then, uh, then, you know, you're going to have to, you know, if, if you need to replace it or whatever, then that's, that's where you would go to get it. There's probably some other YouTube videos. And if I find any, I'll try to, uh, link those. Um, but that's, that's pretty much it. So now what I'm going to do just to show you the capacitor, I'm going to put this aside because I'm going to get to those boards later. <laughs> 